Welcome back my dear student. So today we are going to check out the solve warming up and English workshop of the poem The Warm that is from the standard 8th. Okay, let's begin first with the warming up. <laughs> that is Worms play a very important role in maintaining ecological balance. They are friends of farmer from groups and discuss the significance of worm in the above two roles. Okay, answer is worms are known as friends of farmer as they loosen the soil. The worms also add humus to it by decomposing the dead plants and animals in the soil. Similar to the microbes, humus is the storage site of vital plant nutrients. Next, think and write down how the following creatures can be useful. Dragonfly, it eats mosquito and flies. Spider, it keeps the population of insect under control. Ant, team, hard work, patient. Honeybee, they help to get honey. Earthworm, help to make the land fertile. Okay, now next is little creatures in nature can also be your teacher. Think and write what we can learn from the following. Bees, organization, hard work, self-sacrifice and teamwork, hard work, discipline. Spiders, spiders, okay, patience, perseverance, caterpillar, patience accepting of challenges here we'll see breeding worms to use them to convert organic waste into fertilizer is called vermiculture or vermicomposting find out more about vermiculture and how you can carry out the same in your garden backyard to fertilize your plant at home so how you will do it first of all i will take some broken eggs and some waste vegetable garbage and put them in a pit then I will keep it in some warm, earth warm and after that I will spread much soil here. After some one month I will use it that plant as fertilizer. Secondly I will collect broken eggs and pour some soil in it. I will do more seedlings in it. Okay. Read the poem aloud and you will find some old outdated words that we do not use in everyday language now. However, some writers, poet, use them to impart an old-fashioned flavor to suit the background okay, of their write-up. Such words are called archaic words. So, let us see the archaic words. Thy, your, been, life, bestowed, given as gift, the, you, though, you, and can't, scan. Okay? The poet uses a device where he directly addresses someone absent or abstract. Such a device is the figure of speech called apostrophe. For example, turn, turn thy hasty foot aside. Okay? Pick out any two other lines from the poem that contains an apostrophe. So here are the two lines. Turn, turn thy hasty foot aside. Let them enjoy their little days. Okay? Think and answer in your own word in your notebook. Leave and let leave is a famous proverb. Which line from the poem support this proverb? Let them enjoy this little day. Oh, do not lightly take away. Turn, turn thy hasty foot aside the life, though can't not give. Next, does the poem urge us to protect only warm? What is the general message conveyed through the poem? Though the poem is about the worm, the general message is that God has created all the creatures on the earth big and small and every creature has a role to play. All beings have equal right over the bounties of the earth. No one can take away a life that he cannot give. Why does the poet appeal to us to respect the life of worm? The poet urges us to remember that every creature on this earth is created by God for some purpose. We must hence respect every creature big or small, for each has its own role to play in the universe. Besides, we have no right to lightly take away a life which we can't give back. Why do you think God created worm? What is their ecological importance? 
Every creature on this earth is created by God for some purpose. Worms play a very important role in maintaining ecological balance. They loosen and aerate the mud and bring up fertile nutrient light rich soil. They turn organic garbage into organic fertilizers. Their bodies provide protein. Thus, though they are small, they play a huge role in maintaining ecological balance. So they are very important. Here, next we can see the sonnet of William Shakespeare. Okay, read any poem sonnet by William Shakespeare. Pick out archaic word and guess what they mean. So here is the sonnet written by William Shakespeare, and the archaic word which we have found out is that hath, hath is have and has, played is played. Stell, that is not stell, that is stolen. Okay, and thine is yours. Next is the slogan. Even small things in nature play a big role. So protect nature. Frame some slogan based on the about topic. So here is the slogan. Nature. Nature and get nurtured by nature. All creature great and small. The good Lord made them all. Let us not disturb our natural habitat. Let them go and flow as it has always been. Nature is the gift provided to us by God. Nature stands for us, but do we stand for nature? Small and tiny drops of water, when joined together, it becomes a thundering river. Okay, so here are some of the slogans, six slogans which we have read just now. Next, we can see is this is the paraphrase, the poem in your own simple language. Write it down in your notebook. The worm. The poem is composed by great poet Thomas Gisborne. In the poem, the poet urges to remember that every creature on the earth is created by God. We must respect every creature, big or small, which we cannot give. The life we we cannot take and we cannot give it back. The poet tells the reader who is in hurry to turn his foot aside so that he does not crush the helpless worm. The same God who made human being and all the other things that move have also given us a portion of unlimited love to the poor worm. God has given the sun, the moon, and the stars free to all the creature has been He created. The grass that grows over the earth was made for worm as well as for human being. That's why the poet urges not to take away a life which we can't give. Next is the short speech. That is, draft a short speech on the about topic which you could give at your school assembly. Okay, so before writing a short short speech, we can give a head headings. That is the topic, the name of the topic. That is, even small thing in nature play a big role. Okay, and here we can start. Good morning to respected principal, madam, teachers, and my dear friends. Today I want to say speech upon a topic, and the topic's name you can say. Further, you can write the topic with whatever you find it important. Okay, so here uh, the key points I can say: individual is a part of total; the whole is not completed. And last, you can say so, friends. Please don't underestimate small known. The universal truth: small things in the nature has a great. Rule. This way, you can last. You can say thank you for giving me such a good opportunity for sharing my views. Such a way, you can write the short speech. Next is a very important thing which comes for your exam is the appreciation. Okay, here we can write point wise. That is poem and poet's name, the theme, the tone, the structure and stanzas, the rhymes and the rhythms. The language and the imageries, and the last, you can write all the figures of speech which you can found from the poem itself. Okay, uh, this question is a very compulsory question, and it comes, it definitely comes for your exam. Okay, hope you understood all the things. Last is in text question, that is, why should we take care even of the small worm? The Answers are repeatedly almost same. Children, what other creation of gods are mentioned? That is the sun, moon, star, earth, blades of the grass, and the human being. Explain the thought in last two line in simple word. The thought in the last two line that we have no right to lightly take away a life which we can't give back. Okay. Hope you all like my video. 
and if you found my video informative please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you children for watching my videos